testing. So this is Streets of Fury EX. This is a uh, beat em up that was originally a Xbox Live indie game, but the developers decided to, uh, they wanted to preserve it because a lot of the Xbox Live indie games are not getting preserved, they just they got shut down or something. It's got a really robust combo system. They actually just added parries. This is an exclusive build. But, uh, they gave to me like three days ago, so I haven't had like a whole lot of practice with it. But uh, it definitely changes the game. The Xbox Live version uh, doesn't have as much content, the combat is not as refined. Yes, you notice there's a guy with like dreadlocks or cornrows. We call him Yipes because he looks like Yipes from the FGC. And there will be a, a lot of clones of him later on towards the end of the run. Already got bad marathon luck. One thing that's interesting about this game is the level transitions, you have to actually reach the end of the screen. You have to go to the opposite corner. So I've been speedrunning this uh, a lot more seriously since I got this into the marathon and I found that uh, you have to try to kill the boss at the right side of the screen, otherwise you're going to lose a bunch of time. You can actually move during the death animation, so you can get a little distance, but ideally you want to be close to the right side of the screen as possible.
here's the second appearance of Yipes. Now the parries are pretty interesting, they function a lot like an actual fighting game, but the difference here is that if you miss a parry, you lose your stamina bar, and your stamina bar is what determines whether you can do special moves, and also it's, it's your also functions as your guard club. So if you miss a parry, you're going to get guard crushed, and probably take a lot of damage. There's infinite prevention for the enemies, but not for the players. <laughs> You really don't want to get guard crushed in most situations because you're going to take a lot of damage that you're not going to be able to get out of. So in this fight here, uh, basically the guard, the, the boss is like a clone of the character I'm using and he blocks endlessly and the way you end the fight is by just breaking his guard. So if you take out all the other clones then the other allies will go over and pretty much just take his health bar, guard bar down. Whoa, screensaver just came on. Now at this point, all the blue Sams will just come over and just keep punching him until his guard breaks. 
Now you can break his guard a little faster by using supers, but this game is kind of unique in that you keep your super meter throughout levels. So sometimes it's nice to have three bars heading into or as much meter as you possibly can get going into the next level. You can also dash during the transition to kind of negate any uh, distance you are away from the corner to end the level instantly. Like that was a pretty good uh, transition that <laughs> got right to the corner. Now the parries are kind of interesting uh, from a speedrun setting because in most cases it's generally faster to switch planes if possible and then punish from the opposite plane, which is what this character really excels at. His neutral triangle, you can hit someone from opposite plane as you're transitioning. Also if you parry a super, uh, it's not like you know third strike or something where you can instantly punish if you have time. Uh, the supers are all in hyper armor in this game, so if you parry one hit of a super, you're not out of the woods. You pretty much have to parry every single hit. There was a parry there. So this boss is the only one that you can actually do an infinite combo on. This game actually has an infinite prevention system. 
but since his sprite is so big, it doesn't actually work on him. As long as you can keep him in hit stun, he will stay that way. That infinite used to work on pretty much every enemy in the game, but the developers, uh, they watched my videos on YouTube and they saw me doing it, so they took it out. But it still works on him, so the strategy there is to just kind of clear the crowd and then just do that infinite on him. Ideally on the right side of the screen, but that's not going to happen every single time. So here's where you fight Yipes and his clone army. I'm gonna let this next line play out here. I'm gonna put the fucking bullet through your fucking head, you fuck. Best line in the game right there, easily. Now these beatboxer guys are kind of a unique enemy. You cannot hit them with basic ground attacks until they turn red. Once they turn red, you can hit them with anything, but anything other than that, they will burst. So I usually just go into a raw launcher. The game originally uh, was not this deep. Uh, we gave them a bunch of feedback on the forums and they actually uh, they put out a patch a couple months ago that added some extra things like dash cancels and stuff like that. There are actually a lot of members from the uh, people from the French FTC in this game. I will go ahead and I'll show the roster. Um, if I don't die, <laughs> or if I die, I'll do a quick little preview of the roster. These blue, blue versions of Yipes are pretty dangerous because they have that instant drop kick.
there. So here you fight Yipes and his clone army. This is one of the hardest parts of the game, depending on how it goes. About as good as it can go. <laughs> Sometimes the, the the Yipes clones just like overwhelm you and it can be really hard to isolate the boss. Yipes is uh, contemplating dying here. I don't know why he wasn't keeling over. <laughs> Dramatic. Alright, so coming up is the, the last level of the game. Uh, the last two screens are probably the hardest part. I often lose my one credit attempts here. Now, these kendo guys, uh, the black color swap, palette swap of the kendo guys, are very much like the beatboxers. You cannot hit them with basic attacks, otherwise they'll burst. So you want to just go into a raw launcher or super. Oh, go ahead. Am I good? Hello, hello, hello. All right, yo. Uh, so we got a $10 donation from Lion Cash. Chill runs, keep it up. Here's 10 bucks. Put it towards Metroid's Fusion, Metroid Fusion's incentive, secret message in Sector 4. Thanks in advance. Screensaver keeps coming on. All right, so this screen, next screen coming up uh, after this batch of enemies is like the hardest part. <laughs> Lots of the Kendo guys can be really hard to isolate the boss.
Yes, the uh, <laughs> the Kendo guy was dancing for some reason. This is already going bad. That was not ideal, but better than it normally goes. The Kendo guys keep respawning, so eventually you're just gonna have to like go in and take a risk and hope that you can get a at least a decent damage combo off. It's pretty difficult to clear them all out when you're just playing solo. Alright, so here's Combat Grandpa, Yipes, Mr. Wong, and then Sam with the gun. some bad luck here. That was actually uh, an off-lane parry. There are some attacks that hit multiple lanes instead of just one. And what's nice about the parry is if you land it, then you still get credit for it. Yeah, this is not going to be a 1cc. Ah, oh, that was a and once you see time. So at the so at the end there, I landed a he did his like AOE move and somehow I got the parry. I have not had much practice with the parry because this was a build that the developers gave to me exclusively about three days ago. <laughs> uh, I've done quite a few practice runs since then, but I haven't obviously haven't mastered uh, all the parry timing. So I'm lucky that I got that off. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have been a 1cc. Now, that's about two and a half minutes off what I normally get. So I'm going to go ahead and show uh, one of the best dash animations of all time, since we've got a little extra time here.
Now, apparently this guy is like a famous French YouTuber. Uh, he actually commented on my videos. I think he's with the guy with the glasses. Uh, also, Keane and Ryan Hart are going to be added at some point, but uh, only Ryan Hart is partially completed right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and show off the best dash animation of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's Streets of Fury EX. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Peace.